All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless me here yet again, talking real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. All right, so Steve Perry apparently is happy he went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, according to an interview with ABC Audio. <laughs> Sounds so personal, right? According to ABC Audio, as opposed to ABC Video, right? I mean... Yeah, maybe it's just artificial intelligence now doing the interviews and Perry just answers the questions and some robot voice uh, asks another question. But uh, I had spread this rumor and uh, I think now based on this particular interview here, it seems as though the rumor about Steve Perry not wanting to attend the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, and look, there are reasons as to why he wouldn't want to be there. Uh, he states a very diplomatic one here. He says, um, in his case, he said he felt concerned because it had been so many years and the band has moved on. I will um, talk about that phrase. In addition, he didn't want to make Journey's current lead singer, Arnell Pineda, feel uncomfortable. See the whole in addition part. Now, <clears throat> if the band hadn't moved on, they hadn't recruited the amazing Steve Augeri, who, by the way, few people talk about these days. Uh, Steve Augeri has made a fairly decent comeback vocally. Uh, I hear he's got a solo album in the works, and he's one of the nicest dudes in rock and roll. Just He just is. And then, of course, you've got the amazing Jeff Scott Soto, who is a fairly amazing vocalist. I just heard his uh, take on Van Halen's So This Is Love, where apparently he had to kind of burn his voice out in order to get the right sound. And, you know, Jeff, Jeff is a chameleon. Uh, that takes talent. Uh, and Arnell Pineda is kind of a, a chameleon in some ways too. He likes to imitate other singers. I think um, Arnell when he's done with Journey, should probably do what they call a jukebox tour and just uh, sing the tunes he used to sing back in those uh, dive bars in the Philippines. Uh, so Perry goes on, says, I love Arnell. And I thought, you know, out of respect for him and just where they'd gone, I thought I would just leave it alone, he says. Then I had a friend of mine telling me, look, you deserve to be there. You should be there too. One thing led to another and I went, he recalls. So again, he didn't have any plans on going, but he went. Uh, and he says, backstage, it became clear to me what I was doing there and what I needed to say. I sketched some stuff on a paper. And when I got out there, I pulled the paper out and said, I got some things to say. Uh, he laughs. They give us all about five to six minutes. And I thought, that's not going to cut it for me. So I went ahead and took the moment and thanked everybody. First person Perry thanked was ex-journey manager Herbie Herbert, who was responsible for him joining the band. Uh, Herbie passed away last Monday at the age of 73. Now, Perry has a Christmas album coming out on November 5th. It's called The Season. And I think there are a couple of tracks that have been released. So Steve Perry kind of makes his peace with the idea of attending. He doesn't talk about Neil Sean. He doesn't talk about Jonathan Kane. He talks about Arnell. He talks about maybe some reluctance because the band moved on. Now, again, we've covered this story. You can go watch, um, you know, the VH1 documentary there behind the music. And I think in essence, even though I've kind of overly critiqued that documentary, it ends up kind of holding some truth in it because I think Perry was so distraught over the idea that they would move on without him that he just, I don't think he ever got over that. But, you know, music is about branding, especially when you've got an older rock band and Journey for better or worse at that moment was still a viable brand. It still is today. Um, but the other two guys, 
uh, and I'm talking about Jonathan Cain and Neil Sean, wanted to do something, wanted to continue. And it's been 23 years now since that moment. And we've got a new incarnation of Journey yet again with new members, uh, new music out there. Uh, is it as important as the stuff that Steve Perry did with the band? No, it can't be. It never will be. Um, they can make people sort of forget about Perry, but most people will never forget about Steve Perry. Like I say, when you're replacing a legend, the job really is just to help people cope with it, not to replace, because in certain cases, you know, you can't replace Lou Graham, you can't replace Jimmy Jameson, you can't replace Steve Perry. You can go down the list of people you really can't replace, but you can help people cope with it and find someone who kind of reminds you of that particular singer. Styx, unfortunately, has done a horrible job uh, replacing Dennis DeYoung. And there are other bands out there. When you listen to them, you go, this, this doesn't sound anything like the original band, the singer that made the most of it. Say there was a singer even prior to Perry, which Greg Raleigh was there. Robert Fleischman gave it a shot. Um, do people miss Greg? Yeah, they miss Greg. Um, they probably don't miss Robert Fleischman because he wasn't there all that long. But the point is, there's a singer that will eventually, you know, be the iconic vocal. And with Steve Perry, nobody really comes close to Steve. That's why people are still interested, even though Perry really doesn't sound like he used to. And I know that's controversial to say it out loud, people, but I just did. Uh, and I'm not saying he sounds bad. I'm just saying he doesn't sound like he used to. But people are still wanting to hear Steve Perry because he's got so much character when he sings that even now it's still better than, what, 95% of what you're going to hear out there. And people are nostalgic. They love to hear Steve Perry sing. Um, the question is, will Steve Perry go on tour? My guess is no. Uh, he's talked about touring for years. He talked about it when Traces came out. Um, haven't heard much from him lately other than getting the Christmas music out there. Obviously, he's doing a few interviews to kind of promote uh, the album, which comes out on November 5th. And He's smart. This is really smart because Journey as a band doesn't have Christmas music. They don't really have Christmas music. Neil Sean did an instrumental kind of thing a couple of years ago, but Journey singing Christmas tunes doesn't exist. So Perry will now be on the radio every single year for eternity, so long as they have Christmas music on the radio. And each year they tend to start it earlier and earlier. So it's a really good business decision for Steve Perry to record a Christmas album. So in any event, um, Perry, second thought, he is happy at uh, going to the Hall of Fame. I really wasn't sure if um, he was just putting on a show or if he was truly happy to be there. It sounds like in hindsight, he's glad he went. Uh, he made an unbelievable impact at the Hall of Fame. And quite honestly, it was probably one of the greatest highlights of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's history to have Steve Perry finally show up after being away for so long. In any event, I want to thank everybody for showing up here and watching the videos and uh, more to come. So see you soon.